Hello friends, in this video we will look at how to generate the Fibonacci series number in Prelog. Suppose we say that we want to generate the 0th term in Fibonacci. The 0th term is 0. Then the first term is 1. The second term is 1 because 0 plus 1 is 1. And then the third term is 1 plus 1, 2. Fourth term is 2 this one this 2 plus 1 that is 3 and so on that means we always add the last two numbers and we generate the next term in case of the Fibonacci series. So we want that we tell Prolog to find out a particular term in the Fibonacci and the Prolog should find out that particular term. So the base cases here will be that if the user says find out the 0th term then we should give 0 as the answer and if the user says first term then we should give 1 as the answer. In all other cases whatever the number we are receiving for generating the Fibonacci that is n, the n should be more than 1. Then we find out n1 that is n minus 1 so that we look at a term previous to it and then n2 is n minus 2 that is two terms previous and then we find out the Fibonacci numbers for those particular terms using recursion and then whatever result we will get in F1 and F2 we will sum it up and we will find the new term. So how this is going to work suppose I give the value of 3 in n then it will check uh, 3 is more than 1 which is true then it will come here 3 minus 1 that is 2 is assigned to n1. So here the value of 2 will be assigned. Then it will go here and value of 1 will be assigned. So again here we will be making fresh calls to Fibonacci. So here n1 is 2. So when we make this call again this function will be called and we will come here in the recursive call and 2 is more than 1. And therefore uh, 2 minus 1, 1 will be assigned and 2 minus 2, 0 will be assigned. So the base cases will return 0 and 1. It will sum it up and return 1 as the output of factorial of 2. It will return F1 as 1. Similarly for 1 we will get a value of 1. And then we will add the two values and we will generate the value of 2 which is the third term in the Fibonacci. So let us now look at the output. So when we look at the outputs we will give as Fib. If fib is the function that we have defined, f is the Fibonacci number that will be generated and we want the fourth term then it will be 2 plus 1 that is 3. So the same number is getting generated. If we want to find out the fifth term that will be 2 plus 3 that is the 5. Then the seventh term is 13 and we have given this code in the dot pl file. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you find my videos useful, please subscribe to my channel and recommend to your friends. Thank you very much.